he is the chief narcissist. He is a complete and uttered, died in the wool narcissist. Everything is about him. Why were there no changes? Why was there no retribution? Because of the management around him, the people mm. who tolerated these things that went on. And when there was talk of um, Philip having a relationship with a young man, that young man was, in inverted commas, promoted. I didn't know, but I've subsequently found out from a very, very good source, because he would arrive much earlier in the morning mm. than I would for the programme, that he was delivered from Philip's London home, mm. uh, usually on a Friday morning, uh, because Thursday was playtime uh, when he and Philip would hit the town. And, uh, and then he obviously stayed overnight, and there are records to show that he was brought in the next day separately. In cars the, paid for by ITV? In cars paid for by ITV. Well, so the management would have had to have known about that, wouldn't uh, they? Unless Philip paid the bill separately, but it would still have to go through the accounts office mm. that they would have seen that and known that. Right. Yes, it's, it's a total cover-up. It's a total cover-up. Um, those in authority had to know, they had to know what was going on, and they thought they would dodge a bullet with this, which they, which they do, and they do constantly. All I'm here to do is to speak for people who hadn't got a voice, people who were gagged either legally or by actions that were, that were taken within the production team, and I'm speaking up on behalf of them. This nonsense that he wrote today about toxicity, mm. about it's the happy place and whatever, holy God, what planet does this man live on? Mm. He created an atmosphere where people hated him. The people would, would avoid him in the corridor. He didn't look at anybody, he didn't know anybody's name. Holly doesn't know people's names either. This is legendary within the production team yes, that how distant they are.